Hi there, Pop and PJ here. So for our Rudolph broom, you will need a couple of cinnamon brooms. You will need some branches for the antlers and some type of wood sign. I got mine from the Dollar Tree that you can make a face for Rudolph. So I bought this ornament sign from the Dollar Tree and just roughly sketched uh, a face of a deer. Of course, this is gonna be Rudolph. And I am using my jigsaw now and just kind of cutting around it. I'm having it be a little wider than probably it will end up being because you can always take off more, but you can't add on more. Just trying to get the basic shape of a deer face. I also sketched some deer ears on some wood sign pieces that I bought from the Dollar Tree. And using the jigsaw to cut out the basic shape of the deer ears too. One ear done. Now just rounding off the top of the head, tracing my first ear to make the second ear, and then cutting it. These thin wood pieces are so easy to use and work with second ear done. Now to sand the pieces. Starting with the ears. I'm just showing sanding one ear, but of course I sanded both of them. Sanding Rudolph's head. Getting all the edges nice and smooth. His head is going to stay like this for now. Next I'm going to use the saw to cut out this circular piece here. That is going to be the mouth of Rudolph. You don't have to cut perfectly on the lines because you are going to sand around the edges and that will uh, smooth out any imperfections. So circle cut. Sanding it now. all sanded. Chocolate colored paint for Rudolph. So I sketched the face of uh, Rudolph on here and I'm just painting this chocolate brown around the eyes that I drew but I may change the eyes but for now this is how I am painting Rudolph's face for the time being. I will probably make some changes though because I always have a difficult time with faces, especially animal faces. Now to paint the ears. Making sure to paint the edges. Next ear. Decided I'm gonna go ahead and paint the whole face brown at this time. Painting the edges. Shake, shake, shake that acrylic paint. We are going to paint the uh, eyes black here. I'm not sure if I like this shape for his eyes just yet, but we're painting them anyway. Now for the other eye. right pupils a little smaller so we are going to make it a little bigger that's better my happy dance because I feel like the deer is coming to life I painted the ears the chocolate brown too but now I'm going to paint a lighter color on the inner part of the ear here is the second ear and I'm going to draw the inner part of that ear Two deer ears. I'm a goofball. I like to have fun, so I'm just gonna play with these ears for a moment. Ah! Uh, not quite, but getting there. Looks more like a cow right now. I did change the color of the inner ears from an off-white to a um, white. As I said, I will be making, I'm sure, multiple changes on the face of Rudolph because I have a hard time with faces, but we'll get there. 
kind of what he's gonna look like. To get this deer's face to be the shape kind of like Rudolph in the movie, um, I decided I wanted to trim it down a bit. So that's what I'm gonna do here with the jigsaw. This wood is thin and the edges might chip a little bit, but that's okay. We will finish it off and make it right with sanding. I decided I wanted to cut this piece uh, more into a specific shape of the mouth that's gonna go on to the other part of the face. I used the round circle that I had cut out earlier to make the mouth, as you can see. Is he a monkey, Rudolph? Oh my gosh, cow to monkey. Hopefully deer's next. Now just sanding the pieces of the face that I just made some uh, adjustments to with the jigsaw. Small piece of the edge of wood um, broke off when I had um, cut it with the jigsaw. So I just had a little small piece here that I'm just putting on with a little wood glue. It will dry and can be painted over and will be just fine. The blush cheeks are gonna go too, no worries. So as you can see, I have Rudolph's ears here and they need to be attached to his head. Once I place his ear where I think it should be, I'm going to use these little brad nails here to uh, nail the ear to the head. Here we go. Now the nail will go into the piece of wood I have under Rudolph just a little bit, but then once I get it through enough where the nail is through the ear, I will pull it away and then put it right over the edge of the piece of wood and continue to nail it through. I nailed it. <laughs> now to put the other ear in its place and do the same thing. He's getting closer to looking like a deer, but his eyes are still not quite right. I am going to use these metal cutters to cut the brad nails fairly flush to the wooden ears. There we go, Rudolph's ears are attached. Gonna bust some moves because I'm happier with the face. So the top of the broom, or I guess I should say the bottom of the broom on my Rudolph is actually going to be the hooves of Rudolph. Therefore, I'm going to paint them black. I'm just cutting off these little twine pieces that were used to hang the broom right side up. But of course, for my Rudolph, he, the brooms are upside down, so we don't need them. Now opening my white acrylic paint, putting it here on the plate, and I'm going to begin painting right above the black hooves, just a little bit of white uh, for the white that's like the fur on Rudolph, right above the hooves. Cute little deer feet. All done. Outside here in my forest of a backyard to get some branches for Rudolph's antlers. And look how beautiful it is out here, even though there's no leaves on the trees. So I have the branches that are Rudolph's antlers laid out here on the cinnamon brooms the way I want them. I'm going to use the zip tie or cable tie here to adhere the branches in place. So this is very easy to do and you will not see the cable ties because they will be behind Rudolph's face. Now to do the same for the other side. Cutting the tails off. Putting two zip ties on each side just for reinforcement. Antlers are on. It's all coming together now. What you see here is a block of wood between the two brooms and I have put two zip ties together to make it big enough to adhere the two brooms with the block of wood. I have this here to give a little space so that the brooms aren't too close together as they want a little spacing. And this piece of wood is perfect. Now I'm going to try to fix his eyelashes as I want them to look a more 
real than what they are with just kind of lines. So I'm just taking some brown paint and kind of um, covering over part of the black to kind of give them a swoop instead of just a thick line look. I like that better and starting to be okay with his face. I am putting the piece of snow blanket that I am using for the deer's fur right under his face on next with hot glue. Pressing it down into place over the broom and the little piece of block wood in between the brooms. Voila! Now we are ready to attach Rudolph's light up nose to his face. This nose is going to be so cool. Woo! So I purchased this light up nose at the Dollar Tree. I cut it, it was made to go around the head on kids. And then I added um, some string to the ends of each end of that light up nose because I want to be able to, when the battery goes out of this, I want to be able to change and put another nose on it if I want because that was what inspired me to do this is I really wanted a, a Rudolph broom whose nose lit up. Woo! And as you can see, I put two holes or I drilled two holes into his face right above the mouth to put the nose on. The string is used as an extension so that I can tie this around the brooms to keep his face in place. If you are enjoying this video, it would be greatly appreciated if you would pop that subscribe button. Turning Rudolph over, tying the string fairly tightly so that his face will stay in place. All tied, and here he is. So cute. Time to light it up, Rudolph. Here he is on the inside of the home. Hi, Rudolph. Rudolph is popping. He's so cute. I love him. Santa will be able to see for sure with that nose. Remember the Santa broom we made just a few weeks ago? Here he is with his bells on. Merry Christmas, everybody. Make you a Rudolph. If you enjoyed this video, please like, subscribe, and share.